So the very first time we ever tested chassis number one of the GT3R, our racing differential wasn't ready yet, and so we uh, used the differential out of the street car. For the uh, Viper aficionados, this is actually the stock Viper differential housing, and we actually had the stock differential internals in as well, so which was a plate clutch style differential. With that, what happens is, is here's some plates. When they actually get very hot, they actually start to slip, so the differential slips, so we had poor braking performance, poor acceleration, and we also had poor turning and handling performance as well. When we were testing in the GT3R with the street differential, we've got slick tires with a lot of grip and the differentials are working really hard on the racetrack. So after about three or four laps in the race car, the dip would get hot, the grip would go away, and uh, it was really, really difficult to drive. The differential is a very important part of a race car. Uh, it's a very important part of any car, but uh, for the race car, this is a, a big tuning tool that we actually use it to tune the car with understeer, oversteer, braking, acceleration, every part of the car that you can possibly imagine, every performance advantage to a car, you can actually do with a diff as well. It changes how settled the car is under heavy braking, uh, it can change the level of understeer or push in the middle of a corner, and it can change uh, the ability of a vehicle to get the power down. So with the racing differential, what we've actually done is we've actually gone to a ramp style. Uh, here's the ramp, here's the spider. The ramps and spiders actually fit together, and then we actually have clutch plates on the outside of it to actually give it the preload. So what this affords us to do is this allows us to actually tune and restrict at what point the differential is actually opening or closing, either on acceleration or deceleration. What that experience inspired us to do is to go back and figure out how we could use our racing ramp style differential in the street car. So for those people who drive their car uh, either hard in an autocross or hard on the track or hard on the street, any of the above, uh, really felt like this ramp style diff literally straight out of the GT3R would make a great performance modification for the street car. The biggest thing to me is that it inspires confidence in the car. Yes, it's faster. Yes, it'll make you be able to go around a corner better, help you get more out of the tires. But the biggest difference to me is it inspires confidence. It makes you feel like you've got the car underneath you instead of you're chasing the car with all your controls. Of course, with the GT3R being raced by ViperExchange.com, the differentials are only available at ViperExchange.com. We got a bulk order in expectation of having a few extra to have up at the dealership to sell to customers who want them on their streetcars.